Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Sunday afternoon, the Mets won the rubber game of their series from the Phillies, 8 to nothing. Matt Harvey, six scoreless innings before he was forced to leave because of a rain delay. And David Wright with an enormous afternoon, two doubles, a triple, and a home run. Harvey, another six innings, won only two hits, struck out six, walked one, 72 pitches, couldn't be any more precise than he was. You know, it might be the, the warmer weather or, or whatnot, but uh, you know, everything's feeling good right now, and, and obviously, uh, you know, the velocity's there, and um, you know, felt pretty good today. Threw 100 again today. Um, that inning, it was 97, 98. When you can do that, when you can pitch yourself out of a jam, and again, you know, it's one of those things that he, when he can do that, and yeah, okay, he may not be out there in the eighth, but I know one thing, there's another zero on the board because of it. Um, we're going to get really tired of talking about how good this guy's got a chance of becoming. You know, I, I try and take the ball the same every time, and, uh, you know, the outside distractions or whatever's being said, you know, my job's to go out and, and compete and, and put up zeros, and, and, you know, that's the main focus. Um, ace or not, you know, that's, that's always my job, and, and I, take my, I take pride in doing that. The offensive star was David Wright. After making it out in his first at-bat, four extra base hits after that, culminating with a home run. It hit my barrel somehow. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's a guy that throws really, really hard, so you're looking for a fastball when he throws that slider, and just fortunate to kind of barrel it up and, and you know, use the wind a little bit today. This guy's is, he's tired, you know, he's beat up a little bit, and uh, yet he rises when you need him. You know, I've, I've been around some really, I've been around some really good players, and I've been really lucky. I've been around some stars. I'm not sure any of them. You know, this guy is as good as any of those guys were. I'm gonna need a day off here soon. You know, I like to play, but you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's getting to the point now. The dog days of summer, and uh, you know, I'm in my 30s now, and I'm in my 20s anymore. So. So a day off here and there doesn't hurt. But it was really the fourth inning that kind of turned this game. He had a fly ball by Ligaris, an easy out, uh, ruled not a catch when he caught it and kind of tried to drop it into his bare hand. It ended up on the field. The Mets, uh, or Ligaris, I have to say, hustling into third base. After that, three doubles, and the Mets got going and really put the game out of reach. Mets wound up with a season-high nine extra base hits and not to be overlooked, three more scoreless innings out of the Mets' bullpen, which has been great on this trip. They, they have been fantastic. You know, nine uh, in the last nine games now, 28 innings, only given up two earned runs. So they have been really uh, doing their part so far on this trip. So the Mets, for the first time in their history, win a series in Atlanta and in Philadelphia on the same trip. Anytime you go into Atlanta and win a series, especially when you got to play those guys five times, uh, I think kind of jump uh, started us into to this series. You know, two hostile environments, uh, two uh, NL East foes, so to, to win three out of five there, I think it gave us some confidence moving forward. I mean, that's the biggest thing. We feel very good what's going on this trip. That's a very good seven days. They're tired, they're beat up. Um, you know, we lost three players to the DL in the last five days um, to, uh, you know, to come out of here with another series and to win the first two series on this road trip is a huge, huge lift for us. Now they move on to the south side of Chicago to play the White Sox on Tuesday night. Zach Wheeler's second major league start. He'll face the White Sox ace left-hander Chris Sale. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch at 7 o'clock Tuesday night on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.